Hi everyone, this is Burak from Trading Channels. Tonight's update uh, is not going to be on the static charts. I decided to give you a video analysis. And let's start with our, our famous ES, which is the S&P uh, E-mini contract. So currently we can see that the green, the green resistance, the declining green resistance has been broken. And the blue channel with two hits on both sides, on both walls, is very much in, in, in control. The internal resistance, the blue internal resistance and the red internal resistance were both broken right here. And it got tested and now it's bouncing and I think it's going to go all the way to uh, 2850 the reason why I say that is it has tried quite a few times to break the red area this red internal resistance band and I don't think it will get below that uh, so now it's acting as support and, and I don't think it's gonna get back below that that support anytime soon and that includes the blue internal support rail and that's why for for my money the only way is up like this let's go ahead and talk about the um, Dow Jones it's a similar scenario the blue channel is uh, is pointing upwards Today it tried to break the black resistance and it failed for now, but it made a quite a quite a good damage, and I think it will it will break it very soon. Maybe after the backtest of the blue internal support again, but as you can see, it's the same thing that happened here. The red internal resistance line was tested four times: one, two, three, four. Um, the fourth one broke it up, back tested together with the blue internal support. You can see how many times that support was tested in the past. And these internal supports can play a really very accurate, uh, can give very accurate signals for, for, for trading purposes. Um, there are very different ways I can see that people uh, draw these lines. Uh, in my view, past action is reflected into the future so the only way to find these internal supports and resistances is basically after you uh, plot your upper and lower bands of the of the channel you can go ahead and plot the internal ones just like this one here you can see there is quite a lot of uh, supports and resistances touching this this internal one and there is this this one as well that i showed so um that that's why i think currently the action is telling us that the the direction is up maybe here uh, a pullback but afterwards i expect a 226500 touch on the red top band Let's go ahead on the Russell 2000. Um, Russell 2000 is one of the most bullish charts. It reached an all-time high before all of all of them, uh, before all, all the others did. Actually, uh, Dow Jones and ES uh, haven't done it yet, but Russell is doing it. Um, and you can see this is this was the January high. Sorry, this was the January high. And the January high has has been taken out, well, um, actually last week or the week before. It's quite quite bullish, and the bullishness was was um, uh, very very big evidence for the bullishness was the break of the red top end. You can see, you see the. Uh, this was the blue supports here, and the red channel is upwards. The red channel is not is not confirmed yet. The top band needs a hit, but I think that's why 
I think Russell Russell is pointing all the way to the red top band. I'm not I'm not sure about that target, but I'm sure that the top, the, the trend is up. And look at this back test. I mean, it was a nice breakout coming down and then breaking back up. The green channel is also very very accurate, and the red internal resistance rail, which is this one here, you can see it has held here and here quite a few times so uh, I was expecting some sort of a stall point here but now I think it's going to break up and reach to the green top band um, in the next few sessions Nasdaq is um, one of the best technical pictures that was pointing upwards since March low and the reason why I turned extremely bullish was this double support so the green channel bottom band and the red one so you can see the red one this is an H H6 chart the red bottom band touch caused a very strong bounce together with the blue support and the breakout was quite amazing bullish in my opinion and then it kind of back tested this area which was an internal support of the red and then it's been pointing upwards within the blue channel as you can see some level level resistance zones have been broken and back tested and that was really nice to see this was and this so this low and this low were all back test of this broken zone and you can see the green zone is broken after the fourth touch and uh, and most importantly is this this very nice red internal resistance line or basically rail exactly like ES and Dow Jones is broken and got back tested so I'm very bullish on Nasdaq um, and the target is the red top band around 7,000 500 maybe even higher so let's go ahead and do the FTSE this is a long-term chart h8 logarithmic scale the red channel is um, textbook basically and the, the internal the internal rail was broken during this massive surge the back test is happening right now and it's holding at the moment the blue resistance the top one has three touches and the fourth one may break it if it can get there and i think it will get there maybe it will scribble a little bit and then it will break out that will be a new uh, new all-time high um dax is also a very nice technical picture the orange top band is the ultimate target within the red channel this stalling is um, caused by the blue resistance but it's it's still within the red uh, channel upwards channel and if this blue resistance can be broken maybe something like this and back test and going up this is the ultimate target and you can see the orange internal zones uh, which held super accurately and that was um, a very clear bullish picture while it was doing these back tests so these were the indices now go, let's go to the forex this is us dollar japanese yen h4 h4 chart the red one i'm not going to talk about it i've shown this red long-term resistance test uh, was quite amazing this is a long term we can see my previous tweets to see this red one um, the orange channel broke down got back tested came down again so the blue little channel is holding for now and the red resistance obviously is effective maybe we'll see another touch here but i think eventually i 
I think it will eventually it will come down and break this blue channel uh, to keep on tanking like this. This is Euro. Um, Euro broke up a channel which was shown right here. It was a textbook channel, the blue one. It broke up, back tested, and it's now going higher. The blue support zone held, so it was a resistance, and the back test was a support. The green one, uh, the green internal resistance was was holding. It kind of broke up. It back tested, and it's still uh, looking bullish to me. And the target is only the, at the green top band and it may sell off again big time so we will have to see what the reaction is at that green top band but I think ultimately it's going there before doing anything else um, the red support is holding for now with three touches the fourth one may break it down and it may it may test the orange bottom band together with the blue zone and from there I expect another bounce, strong bounce all the way to the green top band. Uh, we bought Euro around 1.1550, so around this area after the bounce. And this, that was the reason was uh, it was a double support. So uh, Euro is looking good. This is Pound. Uh, the red channel was a textbook channel. It broke it up came back it didn't really make a back, back test but it came close and then it broke the green channel uh, the sideways like basic like, like a spin-off channel break it to the upside came down with some negative news um, too much into the channel but then it bounced back back tested that again now it's within this orange bull flag and I think it's going to break it up eventually to get to 135.50, uh, maybe slightly higher. This is Aussie dollar. Uh, the green channel is broken. The back test went a little bit too much into the channel, but the blue support zone is holding together with the red supports. The red resistance zone is the key. Obviously, it was very clear resistance and it reversed after touching it twice. Um, if only it will only rally if this area is, is uh, can be taken out uh, let me go to the commodities uh, this is silver um, there's a long-term chart H6 uh, this is from 2007 top you can see three touches on this resistance and the fourth touch may break it up but the top green and the red are coinciding so I suspect it's not going to be able to break it up and it's going to come down so if it does that uh, sorry let me try again does does that it may come down again and but I eventually expect this red resistance to break up because uh, let me show you this mega mega triangle yeah it's really big from 2016 low 2015 end of 2015 low it's a really silver is very much squeezed and the breakout will be uh, quite quite amazing I, I believe and this is oil the green channel was broken together with the uh, level support, the orange level support. They have been both being back tested in the last two, three days. That's why oil is very much stuck. It's not going anywhere. It's touching the resistances, but it cannot tank either. And the resolution will be, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little bit bearish because of these resistances, uh, which are still holding. And if this blue's long-term support rail breaks down, um, the very bottom band, or the, the blue very bottom band, will be the target where I would expect a very strong bounce. But this level is below 60. 
this is natural gas the green channel is uh, in control the red and uh, the orange supports have been holding and the orange one looks like a bull flag and if it breaks to the upside th this is uh, 3 3.1 around here so I I would expect um, something like this if it breaks up so as you can see all of my trades uh, are based on setups rather than scenarios I keep saying that we don't have to know everything in every every market it's just when uh, a bullish or bearish setup comes along and comes your way you can make gains basically playing those setups rather than making scenarios and speculating uh, what what a certain market will do in the next three or two, five uh, months or anything and this is gold um, it's very much stuck within the red channel it's breaking the green channel at the moment but it's still stuck because of the uh, blue level resistance so you can see that it's not going anywhere but it's been trying if it can break up then there is the red resistance and the orange resistance at 1325 um, but I think that's where it's going next if it can break the blue resistance rail however if it breaks down the red channel which is looking like a bear flag then we may end up seeing gold right around 1250 that wouldn't be good for any of the precious metals um, that's all for that for today thank you very much